Hi, my name's Anthony, and you might know me from various things I've done, like uh, either as a Pipe TD, a Comp TD, or currently Comp Tech Soup, or maybe as in a film extra if you go back far enough, or post with artists as well. So right now you may be wondering what this is all about. So I've actually decided, um, because something has been bugging me, to put together a few videos and start talking about, I guess, Python for, for, for you as a compositor, or specifically a Nuke compositor. Right. The reason for this has uh, been, it's been bugging me a little bit because 2D and comp, the primary output is generally a beautiful frame. I mean, it has to be beautiful, otherwise it's you know not gonna get in the final film, right? There is a perception, I think, that because the output is 2D, and it potentially you could potentially paint your way out of trouble potentially 2d is not considered to be the most technical of disciplines right it's sort of seen as oh you you, you do pretty pictures and i actually fundamentally don't agree with that like at the end of the day if you look at what happens in comp in nuke you're effectively using a visual programming language to build a gigantic computer program like we express it through pixels but that that's that's essentially what happens and very close to 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 the average compositor is the ability to do expressions i mean who hasn't put down a dollar gui just to knock on, like on a switch to say oh god please let's not use the heavy like pj bokeh and let's just use you know cheap cheap blur to get a feel for it and then on the farm let's kick it to something more expensive on top of that Nuke as a Nuke as a system exposes very rapidly to someone who wants to create scripting. They, you can grab any node you want, add a Python script button to do something. Like all these suggest that there is a lot of technical power that just lurks under the hood. And I think uh, one of the things that I'd like to do with this is to look at taking away some of that initial. Oh God, I don't know how to program. That, 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 that's fine. So essentially. The target audience I've got here is you are a new compositor and you're interested in getting to play more with the expressions. You're interested in getting a bit more into the development and coding side. Or alternatively, you're a compositor and you've just gone, holy cow, this stuff is terrifying. I don't ever want to touch it. Both are fine. What I'd like to do for both, both these groups, and the results were different, is to take away some of that initial, oh my God, I don't want to touch this. Um, hopefully I'll be able to explain some of the concepts in ways that will make a bit more sense. And for those of you who take to it, it'll be great. Here's where you can go with it. Here's um, the NDK, here's some documentation, here's places you can do stuff. And it'll open your, your mind to a couple ideas about how to uh, potentially automate your work, but also just how to play around with the system. Maybe you end up really taking to it and you, you go down a particular td route don't know on the other hand and this is equally valid if you look at this and you you go off the back of these videos and go all right i can't ever i don't ever want to do this this isn't for me that's actually totally fine and that's actually probably not a bad result as long as you go into it and just go all right this isn't for me but i know what could be done because right? then it means that when you get confronted with uh, particular problems, you can just go, all right, I don't think I can program this uh, or I don't have the skills to program this, but I know it can be done and I know the limits to where you can do it. So you can then find the relevant people within your, your crew um, or you know find, find someone and ask them the questions like, all right, so I know this can be done. How do we do it? This is the same way that I don't expect everyone to be an expert at everything, but just to get a feel for what is and isn't possible. So yeah, that's what this sequence of videos is going to be about. Um, hopefully it'll be of some use, but yeah, they all should be relatively short and hopefully not too scary. So I um, guess we should uh, get stuck into it.